I've always considered myself a fighter, even before I start having seizures. I grew up with the mentality that whatever I set out to do, I intend to win. In high school, it was on the lacrosse field. Today, making sure that I win by putting a hard day's work on the farm. We're making a difference as a volunteer firefighter. The approach is the same. You stay tough and you keep pushing forward. There might be bumps, ones that could set you back. Maybe make you want to give up, but you have to keep fighting. His outlook has always been optimistic. That's just the way he's built. But that doesn't mean we haven't had to face our share of challenges. We sometimes look back at life before enrolling in the Excopri clinical trial. I remember being frustrated that my medication wasn't working for me. I was given into the idea of just dealing with my seizures. That's right around the time my sister, my mom, and my wife were all encouraging me to talk to a new doctor. The new treatment team thought Matt would be a perfect fit for the clinical trial. We talked about it as a family, and we all thought this was the right move. I might have been skeptical at first. I've been on other clinical trials, I've tried several different treatment options, and I kept having seizures. But at home, talking with my wife, talking with my folks, my sister, there was really no question. I had to keep fighting. So I enrolled. I followed the treatment plan. I got to my maintenance dose, and I haven't had a seizure since. We kind of have these moments in the car, at dinner, wherever, where we just look at each other and smile. And we'll both be going back in our heads, trying to remember. I remember when I started the clinical trial. I could not have imagined its impact. Time has passed, and I'd still call myself a fighter because I'm still fighting epilepsy. Only now I have Excopri in my corner. Fighting for the possibility of zero seizures is a continuous battle, but we're not alone. Rely on your support system, talk to your family members, and don't be afraid to ask your doctor if adding Excopri might be a good fit. And keep fighting. Important safety information and indication for Excopri. Sonovamate tablets, a Schedule 5 controlled substance. Do not take Excopri if you are allergic to Sonovamate or any of the other ingredients in Excopri. Have a genetic problem called familial short QT syndrome that affects the electrical system of the heart. Excopri can cause serious side effects, including allergic reactions. Excopri can cause serious skin rash or other serious allergic reactions, which may affect organs and other parts of your body, like the liver or blood cells. You may or may not have a rash with these types of reactions. Call your healthcare provider right away and go to the nearest emergency room if you have any of the following. Swelling of your face, eyes, lips, or tongue. Trouble swallowing or breathing. A skin rash. Hives. Fever swollen glands, or sore throat that does not go away or comes and goes, painful sores in the mouth or around your eyes, yellowing of your skin or eyes, unusual bruising or bleeding, severe fatigue or weakness, severe muscle pain, frequent infections, or infections that do not go away. Take Excopri exactly as your healthcare provider tells you to take it. It is very important to increase your dose of Excopri slowly, as instructed by your healthcare provider. QT shortening. Excopri may cause problems with the electrical system of the heart. QT shortening. Call your healthcare provider if you have symptoms of QT shortening, including fast heartbeat, heart palpitations that last a long time, or fainting, suicidal behavior and ideation. Anti-epileptic drugs, including Excopri, may cause suicidal thoughts or actions in a very small number of people, about 1 in 500. Call your healthcare provider right away if you have any of the following symptoms, especially if they are new, worse, or worry you. Thoughts about suicide or dying, attempting to commit suicide, new or worse depression, anxiety, or irritability, feeling agitated or restless, panic attacks, trouble sleeping, insomnia, acting aggressive, being angry or violent, acting on dangerous impulses, an extreme increase in activity and talking, mania, or other unusual changes in behavior or mood, nervous system problems. Excopri may cause problems that affect your nervous system. 
Symptoms of nervous system problems include dizziness, trouble walking or with coordination, feeling sleepy and tired, trouble concentrating, remembering and thinking clearly, and vision problems. Do not drive, operate heavy machinery, or do other dangerous activities until you know how Excopri affects you. Do not drink alcohol or take other medicines that can make you sleepy or dizzy while taking Excopri without first talking to your healthcare provider. Discontinuation. Do not stop taking Excopri without first talking to your healthcare provider. Stopping Excopri suddenly can cause serious problems. Stopping seizure medicine suddenly in a patient who has epilepsy can cause seizures that will not stop. Status epilepticus. Drug interactions. Excopri may affect the way other medicines work, and other medicines may affect how Excopri works. Do not start or stop other medicines without talking to your healthcare provider. Tell healthcare providers about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Pregnancy and lactation. Excopri may cause your birth control medicine to be less effective. Talk to your healthcare provider about the best birth control method to use. Talk to your healthcare provider if you are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Excopri will harm your unborn baby. Tell your healthcare provider right away if you become pregnant while taking Excopri. You and your healthcare provider will decide if you should take Excopri while you are pregnant. If you become pregnant while taking Excopri, talk to your healthcare provider about registering with the North American Anti Epileptic Drug, NAAED, Pregnancy Registry. The purpose of this registry is to collect information about the safety of anti epileptic medicine during pregnancy. You can enroll in this registry by calling 1 888-233-2334 or go to www.aedpregnancyregistry.org. Talk to your healthcare provider if you are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. It is not known if Excopri passes into breast milk. Talk to your healthcare provider about the best way to feed your baby while taking Excopri. Common Side Effects The most common side effects in patients taking Excopri include dizziness, sleepiness, headache, double vision, and feeling tired. These are not all the possible side effects of Excopri. Tell your healthcare provider if you have any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. For more information, ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov forward slash medwatch. Drug abuse. Excopri is a federally controlled substance, Schedule 5, because it can be abused or lead to dependence. Keep Excopri in a safe place to prevent misuse and abuse. Selling or giving away Excopri may harm others and is against the law. Indication Excopri is a prescription medicine used to treat partial onset seizures in adults 18 years of age and older. It is not known if Excopri is safe and effective in children under 18 years of age. Please see additional patient information in the medication guide and full prescribing information.